So I was in work and I got super curious. We know bees are the most vital part of the ecosystem. Their pollination power, that secures our ecosystem and causes our plant life to flourish. But what about before that? Plant life did spread back when there was one continent, Pangaea. So now, let's investigate together in this episode of Serene Theories. So the main reason we're actually able to discover any sort of record of a creature so small is due to amber, which is a tree resin preserved from millions of years. The website of Paleontological Research Institution, which I'll link in the description, appears to have these records incredibly well preserved. Now before the first evolved, first bee evolved, the first plants that flowered were likely sustained by beetles and the like. The first thing that I didn't actually think of was that the first plants probably weren't even flowers. Flowers would have likely evolved later and at the start we only had trees and various ferns. Now the first evidence of an actual bee, or rather a wasp, was during the late Creta Cretaceous period, specifically during the Gaelic times. There we can find the Pemphredonine wasp. This was first discovered in northwestern France in Vendée by the looks of multiple sources. However, the image shown here is one from Southeast Asia. Most of the world was still relatively bundled together back then, which would explain the fossil records being in various locations. Of course, most of the south was still one and the northern continents were relatively close to begin with. This fossil is estimated to be roughly a hundred million years old. The other one that we can find is the Melitosuex bermensis. Now this was yet again discovered in Myanmar, however this was the, its first dis location that it was discovered. It was discovered this and it was discovered by a zoologist at Oregon State University. This is also estimated to be 100 million years old. Now we move on to the Paleogene era. This is where our world gets its heavy shift of, gets away from its heavy shift of giant creatures and moves to more creatures that we're familiar to. And this is where the bees and moths that we know of today would have primarily evolved from. The first is the Melisites trigona. This bee was social and stingless, and it was actually first discovered by Michael S. Engel, which from now on I'll refer to Engel because he actually discovers the rest of these discoveries. And he's a works in the American Museum of Natural History. This was discovered in Ethiopia. I'm noticing a fairly solid pattern between Africa and Asia and that seems to be the origin of wasps and I'm sure from that we can possibly insinuate if this area actually survived the meteor impact in patches if plant life survived in these patches after the meteor then while the rest of the world was 2 million years behind, that could have possibly given those plants time to flower. This fossil is roughly 42 million years old. Anyway, theories aside, we next move on to the Sentol Sentinel Plectrello Virid Viridiceps. It seems Engel went on a rampage in 2001 because this was yet again discovered by him then. I'm also assuming it's a similar place of discovery. It's surprisingly hard to find research for this but I guess there's not much search for our niche little discussion of today. It's mostly preserved of a sh as a shell fault for most people. This fossil is also roughly 42 million years old. Next we move on to the Neogene era. This is where mammals and birds first evolved and it was near the end that even the first humans would have evolved. This, uh, uh, this is the last era 
before we get to the stuff that we know of today. Obviously, I'm not going to go what, over what we know today because that's not the mystery here. The mystery here is what came before the bees. <laughs> the first of which, and yes, there is no way at all that I'm saying this right, is that Oligoclora equata. This is a halitosophy and it's privately owned, privately owned by a person in Shore in Italy. But this was discovered by Engel and it dis seems that he discovered it five years prior to the two Paleogene era discoveries as this was discovered in 1996. The next bee is the Apis Neotica which is actually the most fascinating one on this list in my opinion because unlike prior discoveries this that was preserved in amber this is the only one that's actually fossilized. It's preserved by carbonization and this is formed when a thin film like layer forms from the remains of a species that was primarily soft tissue. Yet again this was discovered by Engel because this dude appears to be obsessed with bees which I highly respect. And this was actually discovered in Nevada. It's the oldest known record of the North American honeybee for all you Americans out there. Last but not least is another bee that I'm also unlikely to say right. The Nogware Rapis Silicate which was discovered in Mexico and it's also stingless. And that's a great way to end the video because in a moment because this was also discovered by Engel. So that's that, that's what pollinated the plants before the bees. If you enjoyed, feel free to hit that subscribe button because we're doing things like this weekly. Feel free to check out the last vid which is a little bit more out there. I guess it's up to me to promote that as it can't seem to be picked up algorithmically. And I hope that you have an amazing day. I will warn you, my last two videos had a little bit of an issue. I accidentally set my microphone from mono to stereo, so unfortunately my microphone appears to have only recorded through one ear for headphone users. I've changed that to mono because I recorded this entire video as stereo, played it back, one ear, and I was like, what the hell, we need to sort this out, because that you guys deserve the best quality possible. I hope that you have an absolute amazing day. And this has been me, Serene Generation. And I am out, yo. Peace.